My question today is titled, The Chicken, the Misunderstood Animal. Good evening, Toastmasters and guests. It seems really that a speech about chickens can tell you anything new. Don't most of us eat eggs and meat from chicken regularly? But what do we really know about them? Most of you did not grow up on a farm or have now a farm and look after chickens. Today, you will discover that the chicken is maybe the most misunderstood animal. So what do we know about chickens? We all know that they are birds and lay eggs and provide meat that is good to eat. Chickens have been used for this purpose for thousands of years. But only in the last century has it been accepted practice to keep millions of chickens away from people in concentrated battery farms and tiny cages to provide us with cheap meat and eggs. Through industrialization, many facts about chickens that used to be common knowledge have been lost, or at least in my opinion, these practices wouldn't have been tolerated. I myself didn't think twice about where my eggs or chicken rice came from until by studying nutrition and doing research, I stumbled about graphic videos about common chicken keeping and slaughtering practices. I was horrified and contemplated becoming a vegetarian, but I did not want to go this for humans not natural way of eating and looked into my options. My husband Mike and I decided to start eating our own backyard chickens in a happy way. For them, hopefully. <laughs> In the few years we had and raised chicken in our backyard for eggs and meat, I discovered seven chicken traits that were new to me and most people I talked to, and maybe for you too. Here they are. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, chickens have sensitive feet. Who knew that their feet are not just cartilage, but are very sensitive? Just watch them go across the lawn, step on the thistle, up goes the foot. They know exactly they don't like it. Or in the winter, when they step onto snow, boop, boop, they don't like the cold. Sometimes they just stand on one leg and the other one goes up because they don't like the snow. They will go there when they have something to eat, but they don't like it. Number two, chickens are proud. Hear them announce loudly when they lay an egg. You can hear them far along doing that ka -ka 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 -ka. <laughs> And no, they don't need a rooster to lay eggs. I get the question a lot. The roosters only needed to fertilize eggs, and you don't want to eat fertilized eggs. Number three, chickens are smarter than you think. They love cracked corn. And we have cracked corn in the shed next to the coop. Now, every morning when I let them out, they make a beeline to that chef and tell me they want cracked corn. They don't get it every day, but they know where it is and they want it. <laughs> and they know how to tell us. <laughs> Number four, chickens like to pick, scratch, and flap their wings. They can fly up to low branches of trees. They don't like to fly too much. We have a five foot fence to protect our neighbors and they don't go across it. But they could if they wanted to. Chickens are shy and timid. As natural prey animals, they are easily scared of everything out of the ordinary and like to hide. We let the grasses grow in our backyard and let, they love to hide in it, dig holes and lay in it. Chickens can be bullies, they eat meat, and they are cannibals. Chickens have a very clear rank order and no pick on lower ranking or injured animals. If another chicken is injured or bleeding, they will pick at it. If another chicken dies or gets injured by a predator, they will eat it. Number seven, chickens are friendly and curious. Once they get to know and trust you, they will let you pet them. By the way, their feathers are soft and run and fly to you as soon as they see you and follow you wherever you go. The takeaway from today, chicken have personality, they are sensitive, 
proud, smart, shy, friendly and curious, like to scratch, pick and flap their wings. But if you eat eggs and chicken, think about where those products come from and how the animals were treated. I suggest you get eggs and meat from a place that treats them humanely and lets them leave the chicken alley. Mm -hmm. <laughs>